Breaking news uh, from the banking industry, a $66 billion transaction, the largest banking transaction probably in the last decade. BB&T and SunTrust just announcing they will combine in a merger of equals. It's an all-stock deal valued, as we said, at $66 billion. Combined company will be the nation's sixth largest bank. I'm trying to go through what it would be behind. You'll know this better than I will. Uh, bank of America, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, City, and I'm thinking, what's our well, fifth right before you hit the six? But by, by assets, it'll drop out. I, I guess PNC would, would PNC. be above those. Right. Uh, would, would come before the Goldman Sachs and the Morgan Stanley's of this world. So, and, and then this will now become number six. And the said. question is whether this is going to presage a sort of larger domino effect of more transactions. We've been waiting for a decade, frankly, since the financial crisis right. for the regional banks or others, frankly, mm -hmm. to do deals. The biggies well, have always said they couldn't. Well, there would have to be a sweet spot in terms right. of size, right? Because the largest right. ones cannot do a deal because yeah. of their size. But it is sort of this sort of market cap, this sort of assets that can merge. And a lot of analysts had been predicting a wave, a regional bank uh, consolidation. And here we are this, with right. BB&T and And this is in that sweet spot, exactly yeah, as exactly. you say. Uh, uh, you know, recently we've seen the changes to the regulatory outlook. The toughest yep. regulatory hurdles exist if you're over 700 billion in assets. The combined number I'm seeing here is about 450. So this has been permitted by changes in the last couple of years. In terms of what, as, as you said there, Andrew, we've been waiting for this to happen for a long time. And this really makes obvious sense. And people have been talking about, will it come, will it come? But I would also say this has been totally under the radar in the short term. Right. A, a merger of this size, uh, you would have expected some kind of leaks. We right. would have, I guess we talked more about this about a year ago. Which ones are going to merge? And it's kind of gone away. So they've kept this very, very quiet successfully. But it really does make right. sense. They're both strong in, in sort of southeast, mid-Atlantic area. Uh, and I, and I can imagine where this Where does this leave the PNCs of the world, by the way? Because then you've got to figure out, you know, everyone's going to be sitting looking at this deal and say, okay, who's next? But you talk about the sweet spot. There's not I, many left. I, I think you go down the food chain. Right. But if you're PNC today, this may not be a good day because I think that PNC was one of those banks that would have wanted to tie up with one of these guys.